Hi, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, my name is um, Sarah uh, and I'll make up the Neverland Nurse. Anyway, I'm finally pleased to say we have a new um, trip coming up. So today is a trip announcement. So we are off to California, off to Los Angeles. Uh, we're actually going beginning of July. So the um, English schools will not have broken up. Um, and we're able to do that because Ewan is doing his GCSEs this year. So he finishes towards the end of June um, and Libby's tend to, although she's in college, um, they tend to, to break up quite early. So we, we're actually, for the first time for a long time, we're actually able to go out for some holidays, which has made it a lot more sort of cost effective. Um, I've been waiting to announce this because I wasn't sure if I was going to get the annual leave from work, but it's now all booked and secure. We're going to go down to uh, Heathrow, so we're not flying from Gatwick this time. We're going to go down the night before, um, but unfortunately I'm on a long day the day before we fly, so we'll go down quite late. So we'll end up getting to Heathrow about 10 o'clock at night. Um, but we've just booked in at the Aero Hotel, got a really good deal for the four of us. Um, and that's at Terminal 3, BA fly from 5, so we'll just make our way over there in the morning. We've got quite an early flight. Uh, I think we're flying about 9.45 and that was purely so we could actually get there at a reasonable time in Californian time. Um, so I think we'll end up getting to the hotel sort of mid to late afternoon um, because of the time difference. And then the first day we'll just have quite a chill day, you know, get some um, snacks and water. Um, so we're ready to actually go into the park um, the next day, which will be Ewan's 16th birthday. We are flying with British Airways. Again, I've got a really good flight deal for the four of us because um, we're now free adults. Um, and thankfully, although you turned 16 whilst we're out there, he's still classed as a child because he was under 16 when we booked um, and when we will actually fly out there. So that's worked really, really well. And I've had such a positive experience with British Airways. Sort of assistance is amazing. We've always had a really good flight with British Airways. Um, so we, I've booked with British Airways again. Um, and I got a really good deal on the flights um, around the January sales. Um, so they were actually really reasonable. They ended up working at better, cheaper than our flights um, the previous year to Florida. So um, that worked out really, really well. We're going to be there for about two and a bit weeks, fingers crossed. Um, I'm slowly sort of booking the plans at the moment, getting everything um, together. We've actually used our DVC points uh, for the Disney part. Um, thankfully, of, well, not thankfully, but due to COVID, um, we actually bought our contract right just before um, COVID hit. We actually purchased February 2020, and then obviously COVID hit in March 2020. So we had like a back uh, backlog of points to use. Um, so I've been basically trying to save them up so we could actually um use the them when we went to california to stay in the disney hotels um because they're very very expensive to um pay for so using our points made it sort of manageable so we will be staying at um initially the disneyland hotel and then we're going to the grand californian for a couple of days Um, and the plan is that we will stay there for about seven or eight days. I think we'll aim to go into the park about five or six. I can't um, tell you how excited I am to be um, going to Disneyland and to California. Um, it's been on my bucket list um, for a very, very long time. Place I've always wanted to go and I feel so um, grateful to finally be going. Um, and I've always wanted to go to the original park. Uh, the one that Walt built, the one that Walt imagined, um, he engineered, he, he was the thought process behind the whole thing. Um, and, you know, that's where it all started. Um, and I'm a huge Disney fan. I love anything Disney. I like to um, read about the history. Um, so I'm so excited to finally be going and walking where Walt walked. Um, it will mean so much to me. And I know I'm gonna get really emotional when I walk into the Disneyland Park for the first time. Um, I'm, we're hoping to do, I think it's walking in Walt's footsteps or um, tour, which um, hopefully they'll still be doing when we get there because that will allow us um, to actually go into Walt's apartment, which I believe they always leave a light on 
um, when the park's open, which I think is just such a beautiful memory to Walt. Uh, and we're going to try and tag on to the end of it a day at Knott's Berry Farm as well. And um, before we know it, we'll, it'll be time to do our dining reservations at the 60 day mark. Um, so if you're sort of new to the whole Disney thing, um, you know, it's normally recommended that you do your dining reservations about 60 days out or if you need to do any special tours. And um, that's normally when you book them. If there is a specific restaurant that you really want to do, um, you have to be like a ninja and get on at your time in the morning um, to get the reservations that you really want. At the moment, we've not really decided completely on our dining reservations for when we're at Disney. I do know I'd really like to go to the Lamplight Lounge um, I love anything Pixar and it's very heavily Pixar themed um, and we are also possibly going to look at doing a dessert party although I've heard really mixed reviews um, about whether it's actually worth the money um, it may be sort of a one-time thing I'm going to look into it and look at other options I know they do one for the world of colour um night show which i'm desperate to see um i know they've just changed it slightly for the 100th um anniversary of disney um but that might be something we'll do it depends on costings and how much it works out for four of us so and whether it's cost effective as well you know when you compare it to the experience and um, we do want to try out the jolly holidays bakery we'll obviously go to the pim kitchen because we're huge avengers fans and we absolutely fell in love with avengers campus when we we're at disneyland um paris last year really excited to see what the disneyland california has to offer um but yeah we'll start planning our dining reservations in the coming weeks we're all ready and we know roughly what we want to do when we get there um with regards to tickets I am looking at attraction tickets. We have used them before for our Walt Disney World uh, tickets last year. They're a really reliable company. They've got the most amazing customer service. Be competitive with prices. Um, so we will probably book with attraction tickets for our Disneyland tickets. We're going to be looking at probably a five-day park hopper. You can buy and it's slightly cheaper where you do one park a day. Because it's our first time, we don't want to be restricted to being stuck in one park for a whole day we want the flexibility of being able to move in and out because we probably won't do four park days um because that's why we're doing a sort of a longer trip um because we want to sort of you know give ourselves time we don't want to be completely exhausted and not actually enjoy the park so we'll probably end up heading in early staying till lunchtime coming back and chilling by the pool or having a little nap and then going back in the evenings reading and watching um, vlogs it seems that the busiest times are in the afternoon so it would be a good time for us to head out the park and then come back in and there is so much to see in the evening as I said you've got the world of colour you've got the new fireworks show for the Disney 100 um, so really excited to see that and obviously we've never seen Cars Land and that looks um, from the vlogs it looks absolutely amazing at night time so we want to get a big mix of day night so we actually get to experience the whole thing and um, so that is roughly what we're going to do when we go to Disney then from Anaheim we are going to head over into Hollywood we're going to stay for a couple of days at um, Lowe's Hollywood Hotel um, the plan is we'll go to the Chinese Theatre, do the Walk of Fame, maybe do the Hollywood Sign. We're also quite keen to go to the um, Funko Shop, which is not too far from uh, the Hollywood Boulevard. Um, we all big Funko collectors in our house, um, so we'd like to actually go and see the Funko. If I come out without another lounge flight, it'll be a miracle because I seem to be extending my selection uh, on a regular basis at the moment. So fingers crossed. Um, I will avoid temptation and not bring another one back. And then from there, we are planning to um, stay at the uh, Hilton at Universal um, City. With regards to Universal, um, we have booked three nights um, at the um, Hilton Universal um, with the plan that we we'll probably will do three days in the park. Um, we're all really excited for the um, Nintendo Mario Land, obviously, the plan is for that to come to Florida, uh, which will be amazing, but it'll be our first time experiencing that. So I'm sure we'll want to spend a lot of time in there, but we've never been to Universal Hollywood either. And I know it's a lot smaller park than the one in Florida, but I'm sure we're still going to want a few days in there so we can actually get to experience everything and we're not having to sort of rush around from ride to ride. And obviously we really want to do the trolley tour. I'll be able to show the children the Jules ride. 
I'm old enough to remember the original Jaws ride at Universal years ago. They've never seen it. So they'll have a little insight into what the amazing Jaws ride was like in the old days of Universal. That's how old I am. Um, so that would be really nice for them to experience that. And I think the plan is then on the last uh, morning before we head over to Santa Monica is that we'll probably end up going in and doing the Warner Brothers tour. From what everybody has said, about half a day is enough to experience all of that. Um, and then we'll do that and then head over to Santa Monica for a couple of days just to end our holiday. We've got quite a few theme park days. We wanted to end the holiday with a bit more of a chill for the last few days. We'll head down to Santa Monica. We've not got any major plans down there. We'll do the pier. We'll explore a bit of Santa Monica, um, but we'll probably just chill, have, uh, you know, enjoy a bit of the beach. Um, I won't be swimming in the sea because I've got big sharks there. Um, but yeah, just end the holiday on a high. And I've always wanted to go to Santa Monica. Um, so it will just be nice to actually um, explore a bit more of California while we're there. Um, and then we've got a relatively sort of early evening flight um, to come back um and and then before and i'll be back at work um so that is our rough holiday plans and um, we're going to be doing lots more planning in the coming weeks um it just can't come around quick enough for me i'm just so excited um a to be going to america again to be able to go to california um and to be able to go to the original park so that'll be three of the parks ticked off um we would like to one day be able to go to all of them um, and say that we've been to all the Disney parks. Um, so I just, I'm so excited. I'm just, yeah. So if you're new here, um, thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. We've got lots more content coming your way. Um, and currently I'm trying to upload around once a week. Sometimes it's every couple of weeks, depending on my work schedule and if I have time to edit the vlogs in the week. Um, the next um, vlog coming up should be, we're going to, me and Lib are going to Liverpool Comic Con. Um, if you didn't know, we love Comic Cons. Uh, we've always, we generally always do the MCM. We're hoping to one day go to San Diego. Um, but our next one will be the Liverpool um, Comic Con. We're going up, heading up there for the weekend. We're in June one day at the con. Um, um, but some amazing guests um so i will be filming away and telling you my honest opinion on what liverpool comic con is like so um again thanks for watching i'll see you all soon bye